Warning, the following video that you're about to watch is owned by One Mikey 19 and is intended for mature audiences only. And even though my videos cover animation, it is told from an adult's perspective and may contain foul language. If this video is uploaded on another YouTube channel, any video, whether it be a small clip or any of my reviews, it will be flagged down by me if I see it without my permission. Thank you. You may now enjoy the show. Hey guys, one Mikey 19 here. And as many of you know, April is Autism Awareness Month. And today I'm going to be going over a company that many people in the autism spectrum, including myself, despise. I'm of course talking about Autism Speaks. I've been wanting to talk about this company for a very, very long time. And now it's my chance. For those of you who aren't aware of Autism Speaks, it's an organization that's supposed to help people who have autism or on the autism spectrum. Did you know that only 3% of that money people donate to this organization goes to people who have autism or are on the spectrum. A lot of a lot of the money goes to prenatal tests to cure autism and the spectrum. Oh boy, where the fuck do I begin? First of all, I want to say that no, you can't cure autism. It's not something you can catch. It's a disability. You can't catch something like that. To think that someone can do so is ridiculous. It's like people saying that you can catch homosexuality, which isn't true. Homosexuality isn't a disease and neither is autism. I like to bring up the fact that a mother wanted to drive up a cliff or something with her seven year old autistic daughter right in front of her. You know what the reason is? Oh, I can't handle the stress of raising a child who has autism or any kind of mental disability. No, no, no. If you didn't want to deal with the stress of raising a child who has a disability out of no fault of their own, here's an option. Don't have kids. Simple as that. Don't have kids. Having a child that has a disability isn't a curse. You make it seem like it is, even though it's not your child's fault. A disability is never the child's fault. Some environmental things can come into play, but it's not their fault, especially when it's a mental disability like autism or Asperger's syndrome. See, when I was growing up, doctors have tried to diagnose me with autism because I really didn't want to talk to people when I was a kid. Another one tried to diagnose me with Asperger's because of the fact that I really like certain things and that I don't like talking to people I don't want to talk to. Now, this is in no way saying that having autism or Asperger's is bad. No, not at all. Having autism or Asperger's can be very beneficial in life. People who have autism or Asperger's have done a lot of amazing things. Look at Tim Burton, for example. He's a very successful movie director and his art style is something that everyone can recognize because of how weird and unusual it is. I'm not sure if, he's, if, he, if he actually has Asperger's or whatever, but from what I found, it's a possibility. Satoshi Tahiri. He created a brand name everyone knows and that's Pokemon. There are people who have broken out of their shells because of things that they like. There is a person who learned how to socialize with other people because of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It's not a bad thing like people make it out to be, and it's especially not something to be cured like Autism Speaks thinks it can. Newsflash, they can't. Sure, having a disability of any kind can affect the way you interact with people, but a disability doesn't define who you are as a person. It's not going to ruin your parents' marriage or, or your own if you decide to get married. 
if you actually think a disability like autism is worthy of ruining a marriage, then you're a moron. This is where a lot of people who have a disability get killed by their guardians because they couldn't take the stress anymore. There are many cases where this has happened. Look it up. I will say right now that what you may find isn't for the faint of heart. Don't buy into the propaganda that autism spews out. This organization is disgusting. And there are many organizations that aren't as well as much better to donate to. Stay the fuck away from this company. They won't help you. Until next time, I'm one Mike 19 and I'm signing out. You are special, you're the only one, you're the only one like you. There isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do. Oh, you are special, special. Everyone in here